Donald Trump has a big month ahead. A debate, an immunity ruling, sentencing, and a convention in the horrible city of Milwaukee. His words, not mine. So I went to my first rally since he became a convicted felon in the good old battleground state of Wisconsin. And as usual, MAGA was gonna MAGA. Make America great again. I need to make some money. You got a truck you want to show me? Yeah, I do. I wish the world a better place because I was here. Jesus Christ, President Trump. Same font, huh? Yeah. Okay. Chad, are you at all worried about that whole worshiping false idols thing? Not at all. What do you think about the upcoming debate? Um, I've heard that, you know, um, people say Biden won't show up. Do you think Trump is going to show up? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he's going to show up. He's not afraid to debate anybody. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, except for Nikki Haley. Of course, there's one thing still on everyone's mind. Trump's recent felony conviction in New York for falsifying business records. People are talking about what happened with Donald Trump's conviction recently. that. Totally. Bullshit. All 34 of them. It's a f***ing mess. Get rid of it. Why is it a mess? It's a mess because he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Who's he cheating? I mean, other than his wife. I'm not getting into that. It's unjustable. Yeah. It's not fair. Scam. It only takes one crime to send you to jail or prison. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly America's the land where you commit a crime and you go to prison? Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> that was a kangaroo trial. Yeah. This is absolute Stalinism. So do you have faith well, in the Department of Justice? No. <laughs> no. Now there's uh, uh, the, the Hunter Biden trial. What did you think? Hunter Biden was, was found guilty. Yes. What, what, what do you think of that? I th well, there was, the evidence was overwhelming. You take the evidence, you put it through the justice system, and he's found guilty? Yeah. We should accept that. Yes. Because Wait a minute, hold on. But I thought the justice system was rigged. We shouldn't trust it. It wasn't taking place in a in a community that voted. But the judge was a Trump appointed judge. Was he? Yeah. What do you, what do you think of the, the whole Hunter Biden situation? Are you relieved? Hunter Biden was found guilty. Yeah, what but you... they're not going to do anything to f uh -huh. Why not? You can sit around, f dump a pistol in the garbage, smoke crack. You get away with all that shit. But it sounds like he was convicted. Yeah. So is that the justice system working? I don't know. Justice system won't work until I f put away. Which f are we talking about? Trump. Trump, 100%. When Trump is put away, the justice system no, working. No, 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 oh, okay. no, come on. Sorry, I'm just, I'm Jesus trying to keep Christ, straight. dude. Which part of the justice system do we totally implicitly trust and which one is a total sham? It's, it's hard to keep them straight. But did this conviction dole out justice or just create a martyr? There's a classic cartoon that shows other convicted felons. There's Gandhi, there's um, Nelson Mandela, and then there's Trump. Do you put Trump in line with Gandhi and Nelson Mandela? Yeah. Between Gandhi, Mandela, and Trump, which was the one who had sex with a porn star and then paid to cover that up? Well, none of the above, but, right, but one of the above. And one of them recently made bank off his brush with the law. Spoiler alert, it wasn't Gandhi. So the conviction helped Donald Trump. Well, everyone's uh, pouring in money to support him, so, and I know I've done that a couple times. Trump goes to trial for sexual assault, how much are you given? What is that? Is that a, oh, probably a thousand dollars. Thousand bucks for that? Okay, yes. classified docs, how much are you given? Another thousand. Okay, so a thousand across the board? Yes. Okay, overthrow democracy, that biggie? Is that is that a two grand? Uh, that's probably five grand. Wow, okay. Basically, we just need to save our country from the border surge. Right, right, right. You don't need to be shelling out money to um, give immigrants who don't deserve it. You're so. sick and tired of your money going to people who committed crimes. That's right. Yeah. Did you donate? Yes. What about for the sexual assault case? Did you give for that? Oh, <laughs> this is all just so old news. You know, it doesn't affect me. It's old news. Sexual assault, sexual assault. Let's move on with the future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a laugh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. But what is slightly less hilarious is Trump's second term plan, which sounds a lot like going after everyone who went after him. Based on what they've done, I would have every right to go after them. I am your retribution. Donald Trump is put into office. Should he go after his political opponents? Yeah, absolutely. Rock their world. F up like he f theirs up. Donald Trump, if he gets into office again, should he show any mercy to political opponents? I don't think so. He should go after them. How important is vengeance to you when Trump gets into office? Um, it's probably third on the list. Okay. 
Good. So I'm guessing that's between martial law and right before fixing toilet pressure. But there's a simple reason it's so easy for them to give him a pass. And I love Trump, so you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like if you have a child and they pull some shenanigan. You don't like what they do. You love the person, but you don't necessarily like what they do. Uh, the child analogy is kind of perfect, but to be clear, we are talking about the person you want to be I president. want him to be president. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes? At least someone is having a good time. <laughs>